everyone, here we are. Mazin is with me in the runner B room. How's it going, Mazin? Looks like we kind of are. Give me one sec. shows you oh, all of go. the game all of the secrets and everything and i chose this just for you to have a, the best showcase of this game that you could ever get from all of the categories and this is why i ran this category here and yeah i will i will explain while we run so i guess we can just go ahead and start yep. so i will count you down for the timer so it's in three two one Go. Here we go. So, all right. So, as I said, the goal is to collect all the candles and all the things that come out of the candles. And um, that it's called 102% or 102% because it's actually more than 100%. Because if you were to just collect all the candles that you, that you get on the way to the, the end of the game, and you you were just to collect all of them you would not get the the maximum amount of of candles because there in every level there's one candle that uh, will disappear when you collect a previous candle and if you see if you look on screen right now you see one candle here and there should be two but now we we're going to strategically die here with a glitch so we're invincible, but we can still die. Um, and now we want to, like, the, the level reloaded now, and now the despawn candle will reappear. So you see it's it's right here. It's the, the one-up candle here. And this was previously not collectible because we despawned it by the very first candle of the game. And, yeah, that's, that's kind of the premise of this uh, category here because, yeah, it's just over a hundred percent you you collect more candles than you technically could in one go so you have to die at least once in every level in order to respawn the secret candle of the level and i just messed up the bird um also there's another catch because in this in this game you you can power up your whip by two power ups and you can shoot with that whip uh, like when if you have two power ups you can shoot with the whip um, but the thing is, when you have to die somewhere in the level, you obviously lose all your power up, so you cannot shoot anymore. But in certain areas, you, you can only reach candles if you can shoot them. And this is the secret room, by the way, of level one, because every level also has a secret room. Uh, what? <laughs> um, yeah. I, I don't know what I heard here, but yeah. So um, yeah, now we can shoot again. And the thing is, if I got hit right here before we reached the next room where we have to have the shooting whip, if I didn't have that whip there, the power up there, then I couldn't reach this rightmost candle here, see? So the thing is that the run completely ends if I get hit in a wrong place and lose my power up that I need for certain certain actions. So that's kind of to point out the severeness of mistakes here in this game or in this spe specific category. The game is not that punishing. Like if you play it casually, it's not that bad. Uh, most people say it's an unfair game and it's, it's a bad design game, but it, it's honestly a very well designed game and I really like it. And I would say the only downside of this game is maybe the, the lag or the input rather. The lag itself is not that bad. You just have to get used to when to do your inputs and how long to hold them and stuff like that. So once you get a hang of, of how the game works, it's quite fine and it's it's not unfair or punishing or whatever. 
it's quite a well designed game and yeah I, I just like it it's it's very good to speed run honestly maybe it's maybe it's even better to speed run this game than to just play because um it's more of an like it's a very small game it's just four levels and then it's over and it loops over and over so it's it's naturally me meant to be played more than once so it's it's perfect for challenge runs and for speed runs and stuff it's really well designed for for multiple playthroughs okay but yeah um so next up is a is a cool trick <clears throat> this only works uh, if you if you have perfect timing here in the beginning so you want to jump into this bed and extract this coin out of the candle so now i hit one bed that was kind of bad but see the the beds will respawn in the second area of that of that starting area and by not whipping them you can prevent them from respawning again so you don't have to kill them again so actually not killing them is faster there and the whole game is basically around lag management here because as you can see it's pretty slow and i think this was actually intended by the developers i think they made this game so slow that that you have enough reaction time for the for the tight movement. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just got hit and I lost my shooting ability now. As you can see, I cannot shoot anymore. This is really bad because we need this later. But I can still back this up. Since we have to collect all the candles anyway, we can also collect the, the backup crystals. So here, the, the floating candle, this will contain the backup crystal. And now we're back to the maximum power whip. And yeah, so... And up, up next, in the next room, there will be the one of the most laggy places in the, the entire game. And it's really crucial for speedruns to not mess up there, so you can probably read some donations now because they gotta focus up here so yeah So we got a $15 donation by Nals who says, let's go Mazin, get those candles. <laughs> okay. So I got hit here, but it doesn't matter anymore. Or it actually, yeah, it does matter a bit, but let me, okay, let me just die here. <laughs> okay, whatever. So that's it for the record. See, it's when I mess up just once here, the run is not over yet, but um, yeah, you saw this. This was quite a long, a long section here, and like in a in a speed run, this would be instant reset. But yeah, now we lost like a minute or so. But it's all fine. Like my my time window is I I, I chose this quite a bit bigger than I had to. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, whenever you kill something or like you get um, any animations or sprites showing up on the screen, the game changes in the in its lag pattern. So you cannot really expect the next movement to go the same um, in the same speed that you're used to previously. So you you gotta adjust to what happens on screen, and then make your inputs in the according speed to what happened there on screen so it's it's really hard to uh to get different patterns than what you're used to so i just messed up there on the eyeball bridge and then that changed my um yeah the the lag pattern that i got there 
and that made it harder to make uh, the last jump there. Alright, also we gotta get this candle obviously, since we have to get all the candles. And we also have to get those two candles. I forgot one one of them earlier, but yeah, we, since we have to backtrack to this place anyway, it doesn't matter too bad. <clears throat> and here's the next secret room of this game. It's down here. And here are a bunch of candles that we need for the 102% completion. So, and now we didn't get the secret candle of this level yet, as you might have noticed. And we want to get hit twice here, that is on purpose. Because we want to actually die in this room. Since you know we have to die to respawn the secret candle. If we despawn it. So the middle candle right here was the despawn candle. So if we would go on now, we couldn't collect the, the secret candle because it wouldn't show up. So we now have to die in the screen and then collect um, the secret candle separately. Oh my god. And I hope I don't die here. Okay, it's fine. So you see there's another candle. There should be only one candle here on the screen, but now we got two. And this is the secret candle, which contains the blinking heart here. All right, so this fight, this is the boss fight. This is very, this is the most boring boss fight ever. You just have to kill 20 frogs here in a row. And that's, that's the boss fight. I don't know what this is about, but yeah, it is what it is. So overall, this takes like a minute or something. Oh, I got the good pattern. If you get a frog on the left and then immediately on the on the middle hole, then you can do like a double hit. With this new strategy, uh, previously I only fought this I only fought this fight on the on the left side, but now I'm trying the right side because I think it's better for reducing uh, human error. And you have to react less, and if you get this pattern where you have two frogs at once, then this can also reduce just the reaction time. So it's it's kind of a more human strategy to do it on the left, uh, on the right, I mean. <clears throat> Alright, so now we only have the regular whip, so we cannot shoot. But up next will be a candle that we can only reach when we can shoot. Here will be crystal. So see, we can only reach this candle, but not the floating one. But we can, at this place, we can do a workaround, if I get it. So see, we can just go back and use the, um, the ceiling and floor movement to our advantage to go back and get the candle that we should probably uh, not get and like we're not supposed to get that candle I guess but we can do that with this workaround and yeah so this is kind of a slow level this is the longest level in the game level 3 this is all about like auto scrolling stuff and the, those spike walls and floors and everything coming at you is it's a lot of like automated stuff here in this level it's not much that i can do about it than like waiting or yeah just waiting for the sequences to end it's it's not in my hands really to speed up this level here but yeah there are some some uh, really risky tricks that i will not do in this run here obviously because all of them can pretty much kill kill the run um, but usually you want to go for more risky stuff and other strategies that are a bit more crazy than what you see here so 
Uh, yeah, if, if you want to see some better runs, I, I might do some in the next upcoming week. So if you want to, if you're interested in seeing more of those runs here from, from this game, you can either go to my YouTube and watch, watch runs that are already finished, because I got all the world records of this game already. So if you want to watch one of the world records, then just type in Mazin in YouTube and you should be good to go. And all the links and stuff are there too. So, and there's also I I, I made a tutorial about any percent of this game. So if you want to get into speedrunning, you can also watch my tutorial there, and you should be fine to get a decent time at least with that tutorial. It's not the super crazy stuff there, but it's most of the good stuff already. So yeah. By the way, the third candle of this level was the despawn candle, so we already despawned the secret candle of this level. Uh, which means we will have to die at least once from this point on, but I want to go to the next checkpoint first, because we want to respawn at that checkpoint, because that makes it easier to progress after. And yeah, so we gotta make it through this scrolling section here. And yeah, it's soon to be over. And also there's, there's a lot of tricky stuff in this game. Just like those three platforms here, you want to not jump at them too early because if you get rid of them too early, then, uh, or if you, if the screen hasn't scrolled enough for the next platform to show up, then you could die. But if you jump too late, then the platforms will still be on screen and then despawn the next platforms that will show up. So, but now we reach a checkpoint and I want you to look to the left of the screen and you will see only one candle there, right? And we will die now, this is on purpose, but see there's only one candle. And now we respawn at this place. And you see, you can, can see it at, with, uh, with your own eyes that there's the secret candle showing up because the, the whole level reloaded and that also reloaded the secret candle there. So, yeah. And yeah, regarding glitches, there's not that many glitches in this game. There are some, but I... Like, as you can tell from, from what you see, it's not that much uh, of a glitchy run. And I, I find that... I personally find that a bit... Like, I find it good because... Some people dislike two, two glitched out runs because they're just not the same game anymore. Like Ocarina of Time or something. It can get pretty crazy with glitches. So I'm, I'm glad that there are not too many crazy things here in this game. So it's more straightforward and stuff. But the, the tricky part about speedrunning this is more that you want to know all of the the movement and the enemies and everything has its own portion of lag basically and you want to know all of those portions so that you can uh, it's like a puzzle game you want to puzzle the the lag against the the game's lag like the game throws lag at you and you want to manage the lag with your own movement and your own actions but your own actions also have lag so you want to manage it in a way that you get the least lag out of all the actions combined and it's kind of a puzzle game i would say it's it's more of a puzzle than a like reaction game because it's pretty slow and you you basically always have time to react and this here is the next secret room by the way you just want to go through this wall here and then there's three three more candles but yeah, uh, since the reaction time is not really a thing here, it's more of a knowledge game. And the more you know about this game is the better, obviously. So maybe if you're new to this game and you, you pick it up and want to run it, you might not succeed. And Okay, oh my god, that was super bad. <laughs> I rarely mess this up so bad, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, whatever. Okay. 
That's fine. So yeah, so if you pick this game up and you run it, then it might not be what you expect, but once you get into it and like understand how the lag and stuff works, it, it all becomes very fun and really like opens up a, a whole new world of challenge here because it's the challenge is not really the input stuff it's more about uh, like what you can do and knowing your options and your like how laggy your options are and what you want to do against the other stuff that's that's thrown at you And yeah, like you also want to know which section changes which which portion of lag, and so like when when you know, okay, there will be enemies showing up in the screen here, or maybe you approach a, a bunch of candles or something. Everything can really lag you out, but if you if you're aware of that and if you predict that stuff happening, then you can can uh, yeah, react accordingly and then it will all fine, it will be all fine for you. So, and also, yeah, we just despawned the secret candle of this level already. So we, we kind of have to do the same thing at, then level one, we gotta go back at, at this corridor here because the, <clears throat> the candle would be the second candle in this corridor, but it just didn't show up because we despawned it. So in order to get it, we have to die in the next screen here, where the checkpoint is, and then just do the same thing as in level one, but except this time it's, it's a bit more tricky because going down here is really not that fun. It's not intended to to be possible, I guess. But yeah, we have to. It's it's still faster than restarting the level from the the beginning. The original strategy for this uh, category was to to get the despawn candle and then die and then do the whole level again. See, this blinking heart was not there before. Now we got it. Um, yeah, but I, I figured that dying at the checkpoint and then going back just as in level 1 would be better for this level here. And yeah, so I'm doing just that. Um, yeah, there's so much stuff. Like, I could talk forever for about every trick and every um specific detail in this game but uh it's it's a bit technical and it's it can get boring pretty quickly i guess so i will not go over the, the technical stuff but yeah since i have all the world records in this game i have pretty much the the best pool of knowledge that you can have so i obviously know a lot of, it, of this game and so it also is more interesting for me, obviously. So once you get into this game, you like it will you will find new things every now and then. And it's so it's so nice to see a an over three decades old game still having fresh and new stuff for you to discover. It's just beautiful. Like I, I really like this aspect of the game. It's really made with care and thought. It's really thought thought out and once you dig deeper into this game you know you will get to understand that they really put their heart into this game and really cared for what they did there so and that's that's kind of the shame that, that the the reputation of this game is so bad because it's it's really not a bad game it's actually the opposite it's a pretty good game i would say A lot of Game Boy games I find are actually highly criminally underrated. Even uh, one of my yeah, favorite games yeah. ever is uh, Donkey Kong on the Game Boy. It's such a good platformer, I just love it. Yeah. So we here will be the secret room of this level. It's an invisible platform and invisible rope up this this room here. So by now I have spoiled you every secret of the game. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> you cannot pick it up and play without discovering anything because you know all of the tricks now, all of the secrets. And yeah, also getting this this candle here is a bit tricky. And you usually want to wa want to wait for one cycle and then get it from above, but I can obviously do it in one cycle. And yeah, there will be just two more rooms and then we already approach Dracula. And that was really bad. <laughs> yeah, this run is really messed up, I have to say, but... Yeah, next week, if, if you join my streams, then you can see way better runs, because I want to go for some records there next week. So if someone is interested, just go to my my Twitch or go to my YouTube, and then you will have links for everything there. And also, if someone has questions about this game, you can also just uh, hit me up on Discord or somewhere else and ask your stuff, because I'm... I'm probably the most knowledgeable person in this on this planet at this point. So yeah, next room will be Dracula, and uh, the timer will stop once the screen will start to shake. This is after the explosion of Dracula. I will try to count you down, but it's really hard to yeah to do that. So this is the first Dracula phase. There's two, but uh, this is just the first. Just wanna jump and get him here, and this hopefully works, so gonna end pretty quick. So three, two, one, time. It's like, it's it's really quick, it's hard to there really you count you down and do it at the same time. But yeah, that's it. That's Castlevania the Adventure. The whole game, all the secrets, all the stuff that you can get. Yeah, even more than 100%. So yeah, that's that was it for me. Well, there you go. That was you you did great by the way. You got a 25 25 on this. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Also, you you kind of have to dist uh subtract 6 seconds from the beginning basically, but yeah, it's still it's still like a good time. It's pretty close to the world record actually. Damn. Well, there you have it. That's a pretty strong start to a marathon, and you were super nervous about it, about, you know, breaking the yeah, ice yeah. and being the first on stream. But if anything, you did amazing, and it, it was actually quite the hidden gem. Honestly, I'd never played Castlevania The Adventure <laughs> uh, before, so I was very excited to see it in the lineup. But, um, yeah, definitely. Tremendous job, Mazen. You, you did great. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Also, thanks for having me here and stuff. So I, I got talked into this event and I, I kind of considered something like this, but I never really had the guts to step in myself. So I, I let myself talk into it. And yeah, I, now I'm here and I, I just, I'm, I'm okay with my performance. It's, it's fine. Oh, you did great. And I keep telling runners, you know, all the time, they're either they're saying, oh, this one is bad or I'm bad. Listen, just the fact that you can run the game means you're better than 99.9% .9 of the people who've ever played this game on this planet. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's, that's, true. that's something, you know? So don't sell your, yourself short. That was an amazing run, and that was a great, great game to kick off No Reset Metroidvania Thon 2021. And uh, Mazin, thank you so much for being with us. Truly appreciate you actually uh, taking a dive and you know you know we're honored yeah. to have you for your first marathon ever and uh that being said as dracula flies off into the sunset so will <laughs> we because coming up next we have astalon tears of the earth any percent with mini seb rango on the pc so once again mazin thank you very much for being with us and everybody else yeah, stay tuned you. we'll be right back goodbye